I had to stop yesterday. I couldn't mentally take another one. How's it going everybody? Starting off here at the, the Timberline Lodge. We are doing the Timberline Trail, the 40 mile loop. Starting off here on the PCT going south. So I'm gonna be doing a counterclockwise loop. So way over there is the Three Sisters Wilderness. I just got out of that yesterday. I did the whole loop and the South Sister Summit in three days. Leg wise, I'm feeling pretty good, but I got really, really burnt. I had to stop at Walmart on the way here and get some $4 leggings just cause I don't know, I got sunscreen, but they are burnt to a crisp. So I'm taking precautions on this trail. I'm already starting off with some really bad blisters, one on each ball of my foot and on my one heel. So uh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm definitely not gonna bank out the miles like I did on that trip. And if you wanna see that video, which I think you probably should to grasp everything that I'm doing here, I'm gonna link it right up here and uh, you should go check that out before you watch this. But if you're just here to check out the Timberline Trail, just keep watching, this'll, this'll be a good one. Bought some new sunglasses since I lost mine in Three Sisters. And uh, the plan for today is just to get a few miles in. I actually got here at three, and it kind of took me forever to find the, uh, the, the PCT here because uh, there's just a bunch of dead end trails and there's a bunch of construction going on back here where they got stuff blocked off. But yeah, I'm on the trail now, it's four o'clock. I don't care how many miles I do today. I just want to set up and be able to start super fresh in the morning. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 98 degrees. It's going to be a hot one. So I want to get as many miles in early as I can to beat that heat. The next day after that, we are looking at 50% chance of rain. And it shouldn't take me much longer than that. I'm looking at a three-nighter maybe, but I also have four nights if I need it. Because like I said, I'm not going into this fresh and I'm not planning on banking out miles, so I might just take it easy and do as many nights as I need out here. There's Mount Hood up there that we will be circumnavigating during this trip. Great view of Mount Jefferson out there. So I'm on the Timberline Trail now. Officially, I turned off of the PCT which couldn't have come any sooner because that trail right in this section is just a beach and not hard packed beach sand. I mean, so sandy. It's, I've only been going for 30 minutes so far and I already stopped and dumped out all the sand out of my shoes. Even with gaiters on, it's just coming right in the mesh on the top of the shoe. It's just crazy. I don't know, sand sand's not my favorite terrain to walk on. I'm hoping it's not gonna be like this the whole time. It just wears on your feet rubbing back and forth in your shoes, so I think the sand is where all the blisters are coming from. This is definitely gonna be tough. I mean, I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't the least bit worried. Leg, leg wise, muscle wise, I feel really, really good. The blisters are the number one concern, but then I keep thinking in my head, there's no way I'm gonna bail because of a blister. And uh, the sun, I'm just beat up and burnt. So as long as I keep the sun off me and go decently slow so I don't make the blisters like completely terrible, then we all right, we'll get it done. Here's this stream crossing everybody's warned me about. Apparently it gets really, really bad after it rains. It's not too bad right now though, so I'm gonna go for it. Well, that was a little sketchy. I kinda had to make a leap there at the end, but I kept my feet dry and I wasn't expecting that at all, so pretty good river crossing when you don't uh, get your feet wet. And that current was pretty strong, even though it wasn't wide. It was moving like a boulder the size of me. Kinda freaked me out for a second, but it's five o'clock, so I've been hiking for an hour. Who knows, I've probably only gone like a mile. I'm gonna take the first available spot I find. I'll see you there. All right, well, I just got a pretty sweet campsite here. See, I'm all set up pretty much right on the trail. There's a water source right there, though. Check out this view. Oh, you can't see it. 
There we go, we got Mount Hood in the background. Beautiful spot here. I'm gonna get my dinner made right now, get that done and over with, and uh, figure, my, figure out how much I've gone today, because I really don't know. It's anywhere between probably two and three miles is my guess. I got a really good feeling about this spot. This is, this is a good one. And by the way, I don't suggest making a pot stand out of this. It's not the best design. It stinks real bad because the uh, paint burns off the first time you use it. And, uh, I don't know. I guess it works, but a little sketchy that first night. It was kind of flaming because the paint was, like, catching on fire. Now that the paint's burned off, it's actually working pretty well. The blisters are pretty bad. I did do some things to kind of help uh, with pack weight on this one. I dropped the, uh, the, the, uh, backpacking chair that I have, the Helinox, and I brought the Z seat because I bought, brought both of them to Oregon to figure out, you know, if something like this would happen. If I needed to drop weight, I'd still have something to sit on. And so I basically brought some options. I actually brought another tent too, uh, in case it would be better suited. But this one worked fine on the last trip, so I'm going for it again. But I got the Z seat. I got rid of uh, one of my camera lenses. I got rid of uh, the GoPro that I bring for like rainy days or if I'm just being lazy with the big camera. My food bag definitely is probably a three pound bag now. Much lighter than it was uh, pretty much the whole trip for that last one because I didn't eat nearly five days of food. Started on the PCT, I came down this way, 1.5 miles, and I'm right up at this little stream right here. So probably around three miles for the day. I popped all my blisters last night. One of them was squirting blood. It was awesome. Got the old bag of teriyaki chicken and rice. That is small. I better get a little bit more than that. And I gotta get out of these tights too. The only ones that they had in black were extra, extra larges and extra small. And those are women's sizes too, so. Not great. <laughs> they are very tight. It should be perfect amount of water there. And I put that bad boy in my little koozie to hydrate. Get the air out. And that's how it sits for the next 10 or 15 minutes. I found that the longer you let it hydrate, the better. Got some clouds rolling over Mount Hood there. New favorite trail drink, I said it in the last video, in case you guys missed that one. It's a Noon, N-U-U-N tablets. It's like the orange flavor with a couple squirts of tang. It makes it like a carbonated tang. It's really nice. So I've been making this at night and uh, so I don't have to do it in the morning and I'll have it for the next day better take a little taste of it. Mmm, yes. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. It's just teriyaki chicken. <clears throat> teriyaki chicken and rice mountain house. I just bought the big can of it and uh, sectioned out, or portioned out like three dinners in this bag. If this does take me, you know, four nights, I'll be able to ration out my food a little bit. I didn't even bring exactly what I said in that uh, food video either. I basically dumped out both my food bags and just totally recalibrated my food for this trip from that. I really packed like three days worth of food, but with all the snacks, it could equal four day. Cause I have a ton of fruit snacks. Not the best hang ever, but it'll work. That'll do it. All right, it's 8.08. .08. The uh, food's hung. Everything's good. I'm going to bed right now. Um, probably just lay here with my doors open for a little bit, uh, waiting to see if we get a cool sunset, but I'm gonna be passing out here probably within 30 minutes. So it'll be good to be able to get up really nice and early. Gotta get an early start and beat that heat.
Good morning, everybody. It's 5.30 a.m. Um, just starting to get packed up already. Gonna get some water boiling, eat some oatmeal, and try to get on the trail probably by 6.30. trail 635 such a beautiful morning out here it's gorgeous I would have really liked to enjoy that campsite more I didn't even get to see the stars I was asleep by then but it's just too early in the trip to be taking it that easy definitely a cool campsite I hope I get another one that's open like that but if not that's all right just uh, can't relax this early in the trip yet I just had a chipmunk get startled he was like eight inches in front of me and he started running circles freaking out and then he took off and ran right between my feet <laughs> it was crazy a lot of chipmunks out here it dropped to uh, 52 degrees last night and I slept perfect I swear these are some of the best nights I've ever slept in a tent just super comfortable every night the 20 degree bag it's almost overkill but it's not it's just perfect been sleeping great crossing under a ski lift here Huh. Look at all the old man's beard on these trees. I've never actually seen that before, so it's really cool. I want to say it looks different than I had thought, because it literally looks like each individual strand is a, a long, gnarly beard. You don't want to mess up on this one. It's about 80 feet down right there. Coming down into this big canyon right here. Uh, this is pretty much just a whole big rock wall and I can see the trail goes right along the edge there. The sun's still low enough that that's in the shade, so that's good, that's, that's why we started early. Oh man, I got such a good feeling right now. This is why I love backpacking. Just being out somewhere like this, especially for me, I've never seen anything like this in my life. And just having everything I need on my back, just getting out to nature, like I just love this feeling. So I'm having such a good time today. It's eight o'clock, going just nice and slow mosey and I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better than I was yesterday actually because I can't, I mean, I was like gimping the whole time yesterday. I don't know, I'm just walking like really short step, like kind of stubbier than I normally do. But loving the fact that I'm in the shade right now on this side. And I'll be gone here shortly though. The trails here are really, really well established and marked. There's no blazes on trees. There wasn't in Sisters either, but you know, you, you, you can't really get off the path here unless you're really just not looking. But uh, there's rock cairns in the area so that are uh, a little bit harder to see. But there's uh, been signs at every intersection, and this one's got some really nice signs on it. This actually has a map on it, which is helpful to me because I was just about to check my position. So my plan for today is uh, no less than 8, maybe 10 miles. If I can make myself stop that early, it's going to be hard because it's going to be really early. And unless I get a shaded campsite, I'm not going to want to sit in the sun all day. Honestly, I'd really like to do about 12 to 15 today, but um, from what I've been told, there's not a lot of good camping areas after about the 10 mile mark uh, for my day. So I'm not sure. We'll just, we'll just have to see. I have figured out that I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay out here for three nights. Basically, if I get out a day early, that's gonna cost me an extra hundred bucks for a hotel room. So I'm actually saving money by getting to enjoy this wilderness longer. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, definitely don't wanna do too low mileage of days because I'd like to have an easy hike out the last day. We'll see, just playing it by ear. It's going really good so far, just really soaking it all in. Did I say three nights? Because I think it's four. Today's Wednesday, so Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Friday night 
is what I want to do because then I'll be out Saturday morning. I'll uh, play around in Portland because I'll be getting out really early on that day. I only have to get a hotel room Saturday night to hit my flight back to Ohio on Sunday. So four nights out here, that's uh, that's gonna be nice. I really don't have to do a lot of mileage each day <laughs> to hit my goal on that one. It's actually gonna be hard for me to stop uh, earlier. So I don't know if that's gonna happen. We'll see. Oh, can you see me? It's too dark. Well, I'm about seven miles in for the day, which is a lot if I'm gonna stop at 10. It's, it's uh, 10 miles, I mean. It's 10 o'clock right now. So I'm gonna stop here for an early lunch. Just kind of take my time. Um, the miles are really going slow today. I'm, I'm definitely hiking like twice as slow as I normally do, but I'm just kind of babying my feet. And maybe if I do lower mileage today, they'll start feeling better by the end of this trip. So we'll see, but I'm going to cook up. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to cook. I think I'm going to eat uh, tuna creations and crackers because that's probably my heaviest lunch. So I bought some different chapstick uh, when I was at REI and Bend. I was using chapstick at the uh, Sisters Trail, but I think they got sunburnt or windburnt and uh, they're just all cracked and terrible. So I wanted something with SPF in it. And this stuff is called Badger, whatever. And it actually, like it stinks. Like it has a, I think a bad uh, smell to it. All I keep thinking about is like spoiled milk because of that movie with Rob Schneider in it where he's like, well, I have been drinking badger milk. And I, I actually have cell service on this trail. Oh, now I don't. Go figure, I was gonna tell my wife I was I was stopping for lunch. She's been tracking me on my little spot device. Um, it's, it's working good. Uh, the whole last trail when I got out, she let me know that everything on it's working great and she enjoyed tracking me every hour. So I had service last night and I've had it all day today until now, which is new to me, I never, I always have bad cell sync signals, so I don't know. I don't ever depend on my phone for uh, entertainment, and I don't even download movies or anything. I moved over like six feet. There's just like a hundred bees swarming over there. And I keep forgetting I have crackers in my food bag when I'm smashing it down. Ooh, tuna, chicken salad. That's That smells great. That's good. Good stuff. I'm finally getting above tree line here. It's like a different world up here. It's really sweet. Looks like I'm gonna be kind of up in this exposed area uh, for the duration of my day if I stop at 10. This has been a big climb. It's been a climb up ever since that last uh, water crossing. Just going up for hours. I'm not even high elevation at all either. I'm like 6,300 feet is where I'm at right now. Going good, going good out here on the Timberline Trail. I keep passing people that are doing it in like one or two nights. This last guy was telling me, oh, people do this, do this in a day. Kind of makes me think I'm going like really slow, especially staying out here for four nights. But I, know, I guess I got like 60 miles in on all them people though. I guess is the way I should look at it. I shouldn't look at it like I'm slacking. I'm pretty beat up. Oh yeah, views don't disappoint. Well, there's the last water crossing down there. That's where I came from. Tell you what, when I was down there, I was not thinking I would be coming up this way. Taking a little break right here in the shade of this big rock, a nice chair here. And uh, I'm gonna filter up some water, feeding right down from that glacier right there. I'm banking on this being the best water ever. Unless my dirty filter taints it. Filter, does it bother you the way I say filter? There's no T, it's a D. The foreigners love that one. It tastes very obsidian. It's very rocky. It's got a rocky texture. Not very good. I gotta say, I'm gonna filter up. Uh, I'm trying to chug this whole one down. <coughs> oh gosh. Then I'm gonna filter up another one uh, for the go, and uh, that should be enough to get me to camp. Uh, 
it's my strategy for not carrying a lot of water. You just chug one down when you get to the water source. Ah, oh, feeling good. This nice little shade rock's nice. My head's a little exposed, but I'm covered. You know, you always have those spots that you will always remember. This is a sweet one. This view, crazy. Mount Hood up there behind me. Still a few thousand feet above me. But uh, it's really cool. I can actually see like the desert out there. I can tell where the tree line stops and uh, the desert begins because that's the way I drove. This is a totally different ecosystem than Sisters region. Feeling pretty good in this long section. It's taken me a while, it's one o'clock. At my second or third glacier. This one's actually pretty pretty steep. I can see where people were putting their hands down, kind of, and all the pool marks on the right. And it's a little slick. it would be one hell of a sled ride, I'll tell you that. Just filled up water all the way to capacity. I'm entering the driest part of the trail, which is about two and a half miles, maybe a little bit longer without water. Uh, the problem being that I'm camping in about one mile and it's two o'clock so everything I have here are one liter and then two 24 ounces that's gonna have to last me until I hike out tomorrow All right, well, I found a nice little cozy nook in the woods finally just dropped below tree line from that hole uh, exposed part up there. I got my tent set up over there on the other side of the trail actually and uh, I'm just chilling over here in this spot because it's it's pretty cool. It's a little bit too uh, uneven for me to want to camp on. It's got a nice little like rock lean chair thing here. I was just sitting there. I sat there for probably the last uh, 40 minutes or so just kind of napping. <laughs> But yeah, so this is the spot. Uh, the trail winds right back around here and goes up. So there's been quite a bit of traffic. But here in a few hours, that'll probably stop because people are going to be either coming out of or go or not going into the uh, that top part anymore because there's not a lot of camping up there. Little bitch. definitely a lot of bugs out here. Mosquitoes swarming around, so I just put deed all over myself, and that's kind of why I was sleeping with this over here too. So since I decided to stay out here four nights instead of three, uh, it's going to be cutting it pretty short on food. It's going to be close. I'm going to say that I'm going to eat every everything that I have for sure. But like I said, I, I dumped everything out in the hotel room and redid it. And I, I meant to pack it for four days and I just forgot a dinner and a lunch. So I still have snacks and everything for four days, but I don't know. We'll see. So I went nine miles today. I went uh, three and a half yesterday. So that is 12 and a half in the loop. My plan is to do 12 miles for the next two days. And that should set me up for three and a half mile hike the last day. So 12 a day should be uh, pretty easy to do. Definitely want to try to pick up the pace a little bit. Today was really, really slow. It's definitely the slowest I've ever hiked. But I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of waiting on my... Uh, feet to feel a little bit better but hopefully they will here at least in like two days that'd be nice if if uh, one of these long hikes I can do you know not in pain because I've had to change my entire stride because the blisters on my heels are so bad it's going good though so far I really like this trail uh, there's definitely quite a bit of people on it I don't know there, there's a lot of day hikers and a lot of uh like runners and stuff in the mornings, but not too many backpackers. But anyway, it's 654, so um I'm already done snacking and eating, so I'm going to go hang the bear bag. Got up a little bit later today than I wanted to, so I'd like to hit that uh 6 o'clock on the trail mark tomorrow, which means I pretty much need to be up at like 5:15. Not too bad. Needs a pillow. 745. 
and uh, sun's still up and I'm pretty much gonna go to bed here in like a minute so it was um, a little bit of a rough day for me just my feet just killing me I really hope that it gets better it probably won't in just two days pretty good day though today we won't be going above tree line um, quite that high uh, anymore the rest of the trip we were up to about 7,300 feet. That climb was over 2,000 feet in, I don't know, a couple of miles. So it was it was decent. It just seemed to drag on though because that the sun was so hot. We are going to try to bang out 12 miles tomorrow. The elevation looks uh, much easier. So if I can get going early, never know, maybe I can get a little bit more. Give myself a little bit easier third day. Well, that's it from here. Uh, pretty much no casualties of the trail yet beautiful out here definitely definitely glad I came out here to do it I know I probably just wouldn't have another chance maybe in my life to come out here and do this trail so but that'll do it for the night so I'll see you in the morning